I study language. I study how healthcare team members use language and how that works to provide collaborative quality care and sometimes how it doesn't work. So the reason I decided to become a researcher was I grew up in a house where language was really important. If you played Scrabble in my house and you wanted to put a word on the board, you had to use that word in a sentence and you had to use it properly. My mom was a high school English teacher and that was probably why language was so central. And I was always curious about how language and words worked and I realized early in my university career that I probably wanted to know more about that. I wanted to know why people spoke the way they did, why it mattered, how they learned to do it, and research seemed to be the way to explore those questions. One of the reasons that I ended up in healthcare was that in my doctorate I got pregnant with my first child, ended up having regular healthcare appointments for the first time really in my life and realized how important the communication was to those healthcare appointments and that really diverted me over to the interest of the rhetoric of language in healthcare. Globally, my research looks at the big question of how language works on healthcare teams. Um, we think of healthcare as requiring technical expertise, really smart people, really dedicated individuals, and it does require all of those things. But unless those individuals can work together effectively, healthcare can't be delivered in high quality. It's very rare anymore for healthcare to be delivered by a single provider to a single patient. Most of what happens happens with teams of individuals involved in supporting a patient and their family. That being the case, um, it becomes really important to ask about language because if you think about what is it that healthcare teams do to work together, they do all of that through language. They need to communicate, they need to understand what one another expect, what one another know, what one another might do next, um, and language is the vehicle for all of that. Our research, understanding better how communication happens, um, where it's resilient and strong and adaptive, um, where it's perhaps weak and sort of paralyzed, unable to adapt to what's required in the system, understanding that has implications for all kinds of improvement initiatives in healthcare, and it also has really powerful implications for training. Uh, right now we provide healthcare professional trainees with, I think, very good and very carefully considered training in how to communicate with patients, one-on-one. -on -one. But for the most part, we expect that they'll just pick up along the way how to communicate with the rest of the healthcare team. And that, we are coming to realize, is, is no longer sufficient. That team communication competency, if you will, is a very sophisticated competency to acquire and we have to do more to make sure they're acquiring it and assess it and understand how to support them to improve. So our work has real implications both for the quality of care that's delivered by teams and for the ways in which we currently educate trainees in those team settings.